In this episode, we'll take a look at the Rode VideoMic Mi L. Now this works with iPhone or iPad via the lightning connector and it records mono and can play back stereo from your phone or iPad. Let's get you some audio samples so you can see what it sounds like. Now this entire episode is recorded with the video mic Mi L here. I'm in a kind of an edge of a shopping center so there's a bus that just passed over here. There'll be vehicles driving behind me. I just wanted to give you a very real world kind of look and listen to how this works. Next up a sample in my basement studio. We have a sound blanket to either side, one behind. We have some blankets and rugs on the floor to cover the concrete flooring. And we do have a freezer running. I hear a little bit of a buzz over there, so we are going to pick that up. Let's see what this sounds like. Here's a couple moments of silence. Here, exact same thing. We are about two and a half feet from the phone. This time, no video mic me L. And we do have the two sound blankets and one behind phone camera and we also have blankets on the floor, rug on the floor. The freezer over there is still buzzing, running a little bit. It's compressor. Let's give you a few moments of silence to hear what that sounds like. So, three years, can you believe it? Three years has been fantastic. Two <laughs> <laughs> road bumps. Yeah, exactly. But I'd have to say it's been a wonderful three years. So, uh, good experiences walking into the office. I didn't know what to expect. Audio. Yeah, and he appeared on one of the videos that was kind of showing it. It's my boy. <laughs> How did it do in terms of overall self-noise? Self-noise is different than the noise you'll record that's in the space around you. Self-noise is noise that's actually generated by the electronic circuitry in the microphone and in the analog to digital converter. So in this case, what we did is during the silent portions of our studio recording, we actually measured the silent portion in Adobe Audition using the amplitude statistics module. What we found was if the overall average RMS came out at minus 65 dB. So that's actually pretty respectable after we have loudness normalized the audio to minus 23 LUFS. Over here on the frequency analysis, you see that a lot of that sound and noise is actually in the low frequencies. So using a high pass filter and post, we could actually clean that up quite nicely. So overall, in terms of self noise, the Rode VideoMic Mi L does a pretty nice job. The two biggest things that make this different from your phone's microphone is that first of all, it has a much larger capsule. It's a half inch capsule. And secondly, it has a cardioid polar pattern. That means that it's most sensitive on the front and it rejects sound coming from the back of the microphone. What that means in practical terms is whatever you aim it at is mostly going to pick up that sound and whatever you are aiming away from, it is not going to pick up as much of that sound. So that's really good. That gives you a little bit more isolation and a little bit more focused sound. Look at this thing. Let's see how much we can reduce that if I turn this way. Just to test there. Uh, so there's that ridiculously loud truck with a boat behind it. And uh, did it, I don't know. We'll see what it sounds like, but I'm guessing it did a pretty decent job there. Here's a little outdoor test. We're now recording with the Rode VideoMic Mi L. And we've got this up on the iPhone 7 Plus on a June Smooth 4 gimbal. Just so you can see what that sounds like and what kind of results you might expect. I was able to plug the microphone into my iPhone with my Tech 21 phone case. However, you can see that it's kind of pushing the rubber out of the way there. So this is not going to work with every phone case. If you have one of the cases where the bottom of the phone is open, then it will probably work in those circumstances. However, anything is more substantial, especially things like maybe an OtterBox case, you're probably going to have to take your phone out of the case to use this microphone. I was able to get this balanced on my Zhiyun Smooth 4 gimbal with the microphone and the windshield and the phone of course we're using an iphone 7 plus but it was only able to hold it and stabilize it for about a minute and then just sort of gave up it was just too much weight so i just wanted you to be aware of that too i'm sure that question is going to come up you adjust the input level or gain using the free road reporter app which you can download from the app store now the way this works is you set the input level in the reporter app but then you can leave the app and use any other app that records sound so any of the camera apps filmic pro any audio recording app is going to take that setting that you've made for the input level in the Rode Reporter app, and it will also apply that in the other app. 
It also comes with this retaining clip and a fur windshield, which does a pretty nice job preventing wind from ruining your recordings if it's just a slight breeze. However, if the wind gets a little bit stronger, like in some of these clips here, you'll notice we still pick up that distortion that comes with wind hitting a microphone capsule. The clip was pretty useful when I was using the phone without a case. However, when I had the case, it got kind of fiddly and difficult to work with, and so I actually found it worked better without the clip. One of the things that some people complained about with the original version of the Video Mic Me was that when they did live streaming, such as YouTube Live or Facebook Live, they got some sort of interference in their recordings and their streaming that was from the Wi-Fi radios in their phone. So the question is, is, is that improved here on the new version? I did a test YouTube Live session for about seven minutes, and I didn't get any sort of RF interference. However, in this particular clip, I did. Over here on the frequency analysis, you see that a lot of that sound and noise is actually in the low frequencies. So using a high pass filter in post, we could actually clean that up quite nicely. So if live streaming is at the top of your list, I don't know if this is the best solution. What about handling noise while you're actually holding the phone? Did a pretty good job isolating from that. It doesn't have any sort of shock mount, but we also didn't pick up a whole lot of handling noise. Now shooting out in the wind is where things can get a little tricky. If you just have a very slight breeze, using the fur windshield seems to do a really nice job. However, if the breeze gets stiffer and you move into the realm of wind, <laughs> that's when you're gonna start picking up that distortion. In terms of build quality, the build quality seems really, really solid. It is a solid aluminum piece. It seems solid enough such that if you drop the whole thing, I'd be more concerned about your phone than I would about the microphone. With that, it comes with a two-year warranty, and it's priced currently, at the time of this review, at $79 US. Now, no piece of gear is perfect, but I think Rode has done a really nice job here creating a microphone that's reasonably priced, that improves the quality of your audio significantly, and is pretty easy to use. Now, it's not perfect in all situations. If you are going to be shooting out in really strong wind, it's not going to solve that problem for you. However, it does do a really nice job of producing a higher quality audio signal. Unfortunately, as far as RF interference is concerned, we did get some occurrences of that. So if you were relying on the idea of being able to do live streaming with this microphone, it may not be the best choice. And it also didn't seem to pick up a lot of handling noise when you were actually holding the phone. So overall, really good on that front. Not everything was perfect with the phone, of course. The home button is a little bit difficult to get to based on where the microphone is placed, but that's actually a limitation of where Apple has put the lightning connector on their devices. So there's not a lot that Rode can do to change that. The retaining clip was a little bit fiddly to work with, except for when you were using the phone without any sort of case on it. And depending on the phone case that you use, you may have to remove that case when you're actually recording with the microphone. And while it's great they included the windshield, unfortunately that type of windshield isn't going to save you in wind that's probably 15 miles per hour or faster in my tests. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So overall, I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. I'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.